land and we have come to a place where we have established the aspect of um we established the aspect of of the, the body of Christ and in as much as we have built this uh, this establishment of the body of Christ I, I remember we, we we touched on explaining what happens on the cycle of the body we spoke about the, 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 the spirit we spoke about the body and we spoke about also the soul which are the three different things that we see as far as uh, humans are concerned or as far as the, the issue of creation is concerned. And we want to touch it more as we are getting to a place where we want to understand the operations of the spirit. How does God operate the humanity and what is it that in God creating humanity what is it that he wanted to achieve? Because it, this is one of the subjects that we have seen being spoken about over and over again. We have spoken about the issue of spirituality for a very long time, uh, even as far as in the body of Christ or uh, in as far as in pursuit of understanding. Many people want to understand how does the spirit realm operate. Many people want to understand how does one man come to a place how does one man come to a place where you 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 get this whole nine yards understanding? All right, let us go to the book of James. All right. Let us go to the book of James. Let us go to the book of James. James, all right. Let us, if you have your Bible, write the book of James. James chapter number 2, verse 26. All right. James chapter number 2, verse 26. James chapter 2, verse 26. James chapter number 2. Verse number 26. Praise God. James chapter number 2, verse 26. Praise God. Praise God. The Bible says, As the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without deeds is dead. The body without the spirit is is dead. I want you to really look at that aspect. Although James was speaking on the subject of faith, he brought out a certain dimension that we ought to understand that we are going to explain. So the body without the spirit is dead. All right? The body without the spirit is dead. The body without the spirit is dead. All right? So we have an understanding that, um, as we are talking about understanding, spirituality, all right, as we are getting to a place where we are trying to understand spirituality, we understand that James comes to a point where he tells us that faith Faith without um, the body, without the spirit, it is dead. The body without the spirit is dead. So in that aspect of understanding that your body without the spirit is dead, you understand the significance and why the spirit is of paramount importance, why as, as a person you need to invest more into your spirit. Why? Because if life comes from the spirit and everything originates from the spirit, it is of importance to you to invest everything that you have uh, on, on your spirit as a being. All right, so faith, so your body, your body without the spirit is dead. All right, your body without the spirit is dead. Understand spirituality. All right, so body without the spirit. Is dead. Your body without the spirit 
is dead. Meaning you, you so much need to come to a place where you have your spirit invested into if you are to understand the subject of spirituality. And so in as much as it is divided into three, that is why you saw that the Bible tells us that uh, the Bible explains to us that when God created um created uh created the body all right so when god created the body the body and the bible says when god created the body what did he do he breathed life he breathed life which was the death of life which is the spirit all right and the bible says uh, because of this man became a what a living soul so it was the joining of the body and the spirit that brought man to what to operate in a living soul so the formation of your body and your spirit is the one that brought the soul all right which is of paramount importance like what we explained that you will see uh that this the, the very same soul is then divided more further all right this very same soul is uh divided more further into the what the mind the emotions and the will all right the mind the emotions and the will which which all of these constitute of your personality all of these constitutes of your personality and what begins to surprise you as you grow in the things of god is that you will begin to see that each and every time when you hear god speak about the uh, speak about about you as a being you are you are mentioned to as your soul whenever the bible mentions or whenever the bible talks about a being the bible emphasizes or focuses on you and you are mentioned as a soul all right you are mentioned as a soul that's why you would see at another point the bible says and man became a living soul and the bible says that the soul that sinneth dies so there are three things that you see that are in the role um of a a, a man or a, as, as far as you can get to be a believer there are three things that are mentioned which is the body the mind and the emotions and we we have to understand how these three things work we have to understand how these three things work all right we have to understand how these three things work if we are to operate in the spiritual so that was in the book of what james 2 all right so this is james james chapter 2 verse 26 so you begin to understand that when you look at your mind when you look at your mind your mind is a lot that happens through your mind we talk about thoughts all right we talk about thoughts we talk about thoughts that, that, that one, one of one of where as we talk about the mind we talk about thoughts in the very same point of the mind we talk about imaginations We talk about imaginations where we see also the aspect of warfare remember what the bible says in the book of first corinthians 2 from verse number 10 i believe where the bible says that uh, uh first corinthians second corinthians uh, around chapter number 210 bible says that uh we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities powers and um uh, and um casting down every imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, casting down every what imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, putting into captivity every what, every thought right here into, into subjection of the word of God. So all these things that are around warfare, they are around the aspect of the soul. They are around the aspect of one's soul. Then, so how does it affect man uh, when it comes to hearing God? It affects man when it comes to hearing God on the aspect of the 
that is like the processing unit so you look at the consistency of your thoughts they can block the the, the frequency in which god communicates with you um uh the, the the way you think the imaginations the imaginations of a man god can be bringing you certain visions of the spirit but because your your your, your imaginatory um your imaginatory side is so much filled with certain certain images and certain levels of uh, imagine, imaginary thoughts. You will see yourself not really grasping what God will be trying to communicate. Then we talk about emotions. We talk about emotions. Emotions can hinder man from hearing God. If you look at yourself, if you look at yourself in most of the times when we talk about emotions, when we talk about emotions, we might talk about things that have to do like anger, all right? anger we might talk about things that have to do like anxiety all these things can affect a person as far as hearing god is concerned all these things can affect a person as far as hearing god is concerned sometimes sometimes i, I believe you have seen it when you are in prayer and while you are busy praying and you are in the middle of praying and while you are in, in the in the midst of praying yourself you you see yourself coming to a place where you are not connecting to the spirit all right why because there is a bridge that would have happened there is a bridge that would have happened as 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 we we, we get to 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 communicate in this so i want you to look at how really men have come to a place where they have been hindered or men have come to a place where the enemy has hindered their their their, their personal their personal uh their personal relationship with god all right so so we we agreed that the flesh without the spirit is dead so there we have there we have uh we can say the spirit realm the spirit realm all right and when we have the spirit realm you understand that the spirit realm uh, the spirit realm and you are here as um as you we can write any name all right you are here as you you are here as you and there is the spirit realm and in the spirit realm you would understand that you would understand that uh as the spirit realm communicates with with humanity we we have many aspects we have um visions we have visions dreams prophecies all right we have visions we have dreams we have prophecies all right um uh, we we can write also add to just say we have the voice of god all right we can add to say the voice of god right here we can add to say the voice of god right there so when now the spirit realm is communicating with you who is in the earthly dimension you who is in the earthly dimension you'd understand that while you are here on the you and you are trying to receive expressions of the spirit or you are trying to receive messages from the spirit um you you are made of the three parts that i explained that when it comes to you we have um when it comes to you we have the body all right we have the body that is here we have the soul on the middle and we have the what the spirit all right so all right and we have the spirit All right, and we have the spirit. Now, what begin what begins to happen around this is that the spirit realm, when it communicates, I wanted to look at this scripture that is in the book of um, Second Peter. I wanted to look at the scripture that is in the book of Second Peter. All right, I wanted to look at, uh, uh, at the scripture that is in the book of uh, Second Peter. Um, all right. The book of Second Peter, 
The Bible says holy men, all right? The Bible tells us that in the book of Second Peter, chapter number one, verse 20, chapter number one, verse twenty-one, the Bible says, "For prophecy came in the old time, um, it, not in the old time by the will of men, but holy men spake as they were led or moved by the Spirit." And while on the soul, we said, "On the soul, we have what we have uh, the um, the mind." the will and emotions all right we have the mind i hope you can understand we have the mind the will and the emotions now the scripture where we read the bible says uh the, the bible is telling us in the book of um second peter all right to peter 2 Peter chapter 1 verse number 25 chapter verse number 21 all right verse number 21 the Bible is explaining to us that as holy men speak all right as holy men speak uh, they did not speak according to their own will not their will we have to understand that word will right there so it was not by the will all right it was not by the will of men it means it was not from the soul so as the spirit of if the realm of the spirit is communicating what happens is the message comes to the spirit into the memory of your spirit that is where the message came from because the scripture where we read the bible says that uh it was revealed to them they were moved by the spirit impulsions came from the spirit so what happens is we know that it is in our spirit that the that the godhead godhead dwells all right it is on this aspect that the godhead dwells it is on this aspect of the spirit that the godhead dwells. so when 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 a message comes from the spirit it might be a dream a vision a prophecy or god has spoken it goes into your spirit and your spirit fully understands fully understands what is being spoken about expressively your spirit understands and in most cases that is why you see that when you when your spirit would have communicated or when something would have been dropped in your spirit you can you can feel it as a being that there is something that is being communicated to me by uh there is something being communicated to me by the spirit of god and one of the things is these expressions are visibly what you can visibly hear them that there is a message and when it goes into the spirit what happens is before you even prophesy all right or before you even see because you understand that as we talk about you in as much as we talk about the body the body has the what is the the body has the ears the ears the eyes is it depends on uh which which part of the body is working on that aspect we have the ears we have the eyes sometimes uh uh we we have uh you can be using other hands all right uh we can talk about the hands because some they feel heat when there are some expression from the spirit so when it goes to the soul remember on the soul we spoke about this aspect that there are what you call emotions that are here all right your emotions all right we have your emotions we have your mind to think so what happens is it has to go through the processing all right and this is the mind we are talking about it has to go through the mind all right it has to go through the mind why do i say the mind all right when you read your bible when you read your bible um the bible the bible tells us uh that you you can only prophesy according to the proportion all right according to the proportion of of your faith you can only prophesy according to the proportion of your faith 
All right? You can only prophesy according to the proportion of your faith. So many people, many people, many people, what, what, what hinders them is that because their mind is not yet open to um, or has been exposed to maybe certain realities of the spirit. When the spirit would have opened, maybe the spirit is showing you a vision, a vision of a certain nation. And because on your soul is the mind, the will, and your emotions. We talk about the mind first. Your mind has not been exposed. You don't even know the features of that place. It means even if the flag is shown, you won't even come to a place where you realize. We talk about the will. The will determine the will we are talking about where you, de- where you make your decisions. Sometimes you see when God would have told you a message and you do not push to prophesy or to speak out the message, that is around your will. We talk about emotions. Emotions, those are expressions. Sometimes they are good if, they, if your soul is channeled well and it has been submitted to to the word of God. It is easy for your emotions to help you in, in, in the aspect of prophecy. Sometimes you can be looking at a person and God does not speak a word, but because the word that has been spoken from the spirit, it, it's hard for it to to be translated to you, but what you can feel are the expressions through your emotions. So you can feel some heaviness. And from that heaviness, when it's translated, that is when you can start to say maybe a person is going through depression or maybe a person is going through loneliness. That also comes on the aspect of what? Emotions. Now, so the word has been spoken from the spirit, all right, communicated from the spirit to you. And from the spirit to you, from the spirit now, it has to be spoken to this so kind of a person and from there on this so that is where we see translations translations all right that is where we see translations right here that is where we see translations do you know that many people it's not that they cannot maybe prophesy or that they cannot uh they cannot accurately speak some people they would have heard a word from the spirit with accuracy but when it comes to their soul now their soul has not been fed or submitted to the body to to, to christ it is it, it, it is it is because remember the reason why the soul is on the middle it is it can balance on both either on the fleshly side or on the spirit so it depends with which side are you feeding the more. Are you feeding the spirit or the flesh? So where it balances determines where it finds accuracy. So you'd see that many people now, their translations are wrong because of their soul. So from translation, when it comes to the body, that is where we see the aspect of what you call delivery. All right? So that is where we see the aspect of what you call delivery. delivery all right where one is delivering a prophetic word or one is delivering uh is, is delivering a way to say god is saying this and god is saying that so uh, uh it is on the limitation of one's it is on the limitation of one's soul. What is it? What how have one how has one invested in their soul? How has one come to a place where they've crafted their soul? Determines how much you can have accuracy from the realm of the spirit. I believe somebody is under is, is understanding something. All right. Am I communicating to someone? All right. So when when you read one of the reasons one of the reasons why as a believer you need to come to a place where you 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 build your spiritual life when you take your bibles when you take your bibles to to the book of John all right in John 14 in John chapter number 14 verse 26 all right when you read John 14, verse 26, the Bible says, the Bible opens us to a reality of the Holy Spirit. Why? Because for you to be able to have a relationship with uh, or to understand things of the Spirit, you need the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit. All right. So the, the easiest way you can explain the aspect of the aspect of um, the aspect of a human uh, of a human being um, of a human being, it is um, it is true if you understand technology. If you understand technology, in technology there are three things that are important. 
all right? In technology, there are three things that are important. You would see that when we talk about maybe, let's talk about a phone. All right, let's talk about a phone. You will see that a phone, a phone has uh, three things. The hardware. All right, the hardware. The software and network is needed. All right, and network is needed. So the hardware, the hardware specifically, it is the handset. When we talk about the hardware, we are talking about the handset. When you talk about the software, you are talking about that software. When you put it on, you see it right and name it might be a software of any kind of uh, uh, your, 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 your favorable or the kind of the phone that you have bought. There is a software, you will see them, you, you will see there is uh, something that will be written there. So this is what happens. What happens is the, hard, the, 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 the hardware, we, we are talking about the body. All right, we are talking about the body. All right, the software, we are talking about the spirit. All right, we are talking about the spirit. All right, we are talking about the spirit. Then when we talk about the network, we are talking about the Holy Spirit. All right, we are talking about the Holy Spirit. And also you'd understand that they ca you cannot have your network unless you have like a SIM card. This is when one received Christ so that you can gain access uh, from the realm of the Spirit. Now, when you look at this, when you read your Bible in the book of John chapter number 14, verse, uh, verse number 26, the Bible says, I will send you the Holy Spirit and he shall teach you of all things. All right. So the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, number one, he shall teach you. He shall teach you. All right. And number two. He shall what? Make you to remember. Make you to remember. All right? Make you to remember. So to teach you, it means uh, we are talking about senses. You, you learn through your eyes, your ears, and all, and remembering, you are talking about the mind. So if he makes you to remember, we are talking about now the Holy Spirit has gained control over your soul. All right, the Holy Spirit cannot come to a place, cannot come to a place where He can teach you unless He has gained control over your soul. All right, over your soul. So He can only make you to remember when He has what? Control over your soul. The soul that we are saying that is the problem. He will teach you to remember. He will teach you when we talk about the truth to remember, control by your soul. In this aspect, we have uh, the mind. All right? We have the mind. For you to remember, you need the mind. And to teach you, we are talking about the aspect of that the Holy Spirit has gained control, that now we can start to bring you expansions in the Spirit. So the Holy Spirit will teach you. He will teach you of all things. Now, you realize that. In as much as you can help the body, it does not mean that you have a connection to the spirit. If you help the body, it does not mean that you have a connection to the spirit. So what begins to happen is for, for, for you to have access to the realm of the spirit, because the spirit, when you read your Bible, let me take you through, through the Bible so that you understand what I'm talking about. For you to have certain access to certain dimensions of the spirit, you need this Holy Spirit, all right? You need this Holy Spirit. The Bible tells us that um, if you read your if you read your Bible in the book of First Corinthians chapter two, verse number eleven. All right, First Corinthians two, verse number eleven. If you have your Bible, I want you to go to one Corinthians to one Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 11. So the Bible in John in John 14 says that the Holy Spirit teaches you of all things. But in 1 Corinthians, the Bible says that for who knows the thoughts of a man 
as we spoke about the soul, that are in the mind, who knows the thoughts of a man except the spirit of a man. So, so, so you'd understand that the Bible is opening us to a reality to say, um, you as a being, all right, you as a being, when you talk about your, your mind, all right, when you talk about your mind, uh, this is where your thoughts are. This is where your thoughts are. They are reviewed, reviewed by the Spirit. All right? They are reviewed by your spirit. Your thoughts, they are reviewed by the spirit. And the Bible tells us something that is very profound there. The Bible says that it, oh, it is also a reality when it comes to men. It is also a reality when it comes to men. That also the spirit, that who knows what is in the thoughts of God. So even that God has the same mind except the spirit of God. So the spirit is needed for you to have access over the, over the spiritual realm and everything that happens in the realm of the spirit. You need the spirit of God so that you can have access. Like, like the very same way that I'm saying, that you would come to a point where you, you, you will realize that um, uh, you, 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 you can be having your body, you can be having, you, you can be having your own spirit, but it is now the Holy Spirit that when the Holy Spirit speaks your spirit, it is processed and it goes through your mind. But what you feed, the more grows, the more. So many people that find it difficult to operate in the realm of the spirit, it is because they have not yet understood what the Bible says. The scripture where we read in Peter, Second Peter, that holy men speak as they were pushed or impulsions were brought to them by the Spirit of God. Were brought to them by the Spirit of God. And the Holy Spirit now, the Holy Spirit works through your spiritual senses. He works through your spiritual senses, like uh, he, he works through your spiritual senses from your, 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 uh, this is now a connection between your body and uh, your, your soul and your spirit. Now, I want to explain something right there that the Holy Spirit uh, taught me many years ago. There is something that the Holy Spirit taught me many years ago. All right, so we begin to understand, and I explained as we get more, that as a person, you have the soul right here, which is far more important because the body is for movement, mostly it is the final stage, all right? You have the soul right here, and around the soul, that is where we have the mind, the will, and the emotions. All right, the mind, the will, and the emotions. And here we have the spirit, your spirit, your spirit. All right, so we have the spirit. All right, we have the spirit, and it is inside the very same spirit that we have the Holy Spirit. All right, it is inside the spirit that we have the Holy Spirit. Now, when the realm of the spirit speaks, when God speaks through the spirit, he speaks into your spirit. And one of the things that brings a breakage is that this word comes to the mind. Before you even prophesy, it comes to the mind right here. And this is where the greatest battle is for many people. When the word comes to the mind, what are you going to do with that word? How are you going to communicate through that word? So the mind now, if it is not renewed, like what the Bible tells us in, uh, in Romans chapter 12, verse number 2, all right? Like what the Bible tells us in Romans 12, verse number 2. If this is not renewed, if your mind is not renewed, it means you are conformed. It means you have a certain mindset which blinds you, like what the Bible says, that their minds have been blinded so that they may not see the light. So when the Spirit speaks, when the Spirit speaks, for there to be accuracy, we deal more with the mind. The mind is going to be in subjection with the Word of God. Now, the secret to a lot of accuracy 
All right. The secret to accuracy in the realm of the spirit. To those maybe you have seen even or to those that saw the program we we're doing uh, last week in, in, in Limpopo. What makes you to be like that? It is the state, it is the state of your stability. All right, the state of your stability, it matters the more. Uh, the, the, the very first thing that you have to deal with, it is the mind. All right, accuracy, it is the mind. All right, it is the mind. When you are dealing with the mind, the first thing that has to, to, to happen is um, you have to be um, no, no, let me say no stress. All right, let me say no stress. All right, the mind, the mind has got to be free. All right, no stress, which means it has to be free because God can never pour in a place that is already full. So the secret is when the mind, all right, when the mind and the spirit, all right, when the mind and the spirit sink, all right, when the mind and the spirit sink, God speaks. When the mind and the spirit meets, uh, when, when, the when the mind and the spirit meets, when they get to a place where these two meet when they meet god and they sink all right you can use the word to be easy you can say meet so that you don't get to a place where you the word sink can confuse you god begins to speak so the reason why the mind is going to be dealt with is because on the mind that is where you, you will see that even if we are talking about the will all right it also goes back to the mind when it comes to decisions. Even if you are having emotions that are pressuring you, the decisions who all who, who also comes back to the mind. So the mind becomes the center of one man's soul. But the, the, the mind and the spirit when it means because remember the spirit is always one hundred percent accurate. There is no way the spirit can never miss. The spirit is 100% accurate. But the mind, all right, the mind is what you call external and internal influence. The devil, the devil wants to use this mind. You wants to use this mind. And God wants to use this mind. So you see the battle of the mind. There is much of the battle of the mind. So when you see a person coming to a place where they are said to have missed, you say, ah, but I I knew that God was speaking to me. But when when you when you push the boldness to speak to a person, it seems as if there's no accuracy. It's not because the spirit is not accurate, or that maybe uh, you you are fake. The mind. The mind, the mind, the reason is, uh, the, the reason to, the reason to inaccuracy, all right? Inaccuracy, inaccuracy, it is because the mind lacks the word, all right? The mind is congested all right the mind is congested with thoughts stress and other exterior other exterior things all right other exterior things all right or the mind lacks exposure The mind lacks exposure, where you sometimes God speaks through symbols and parables and you can't explain it. So 
The mind in the spirit has got to meet for God to speak. God is always 100%, but the mind has been one of the limitations of a lot of people because many people, when when you look at many people, they are hindered on the aspect of, they are hindered on the aspect of the word and prayer, all right? All these formulas, they work in 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 hearing god and speaking messages from god they work in hearing god and speaking messages from god from the aspect of the reason why the reason why you fast all right the reason why you fast many people would not understand the reason why you fast all right so we, we will still have to go back on these three things that we are dealing with because they as far as we are talking about the spirit you can never run away from those three aspects all right so we have the body the mind and the spirit all right and the spirit so you would see that you would see that the reason why you, you 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 fast you fast for this thing that's it. this is why you fast you read the word you read the word for this thing called the the the, the soul or i had written the mind for the soul that is why you read the word all right so you read the word for this thing all right so you are, you are joining the, the 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 fasting and the reading of the word and what does it do this gives you an advantage as far as the spirit is concerned so many people some who hear them say me i read i read the word more more than i fast the the, the problem is you you are you, you are saying you are not fasting and you, your flesh becomes so much so much heavy that it leans more on the spirit or on, on the on, on the soul and when those these two these three the body the soul and the mind one you you you, you have to choose are you going to add the body and the soul or are you going to merge the soul and the spirit so one is to add when you add the soul and the body you are called carnal <laughs> when you add the soul and the spirit you are called spiritual all right so when you are reading the word and you are fasting on the same place what are you doing you are subjecting submitting the body and through the word what are you doing you are you you are you are putting them the, the soul into captivity so that it can be channeled you can't leave the soul to do what it does you, you know that you can't control your thoughts in many times you, sometimes your thoughts even think the things you don't want to think so the moment you are feeding the word what does it do you are gravitating towards the spirit so when the spirit finds dominance over these three you would begin to see yourself connected to the spirit that it is easy for, for for the spiritual to flow into you and for you to communicate through the spirit so when the spirit does that what what happens is it controls the spirit controls your body right here and the spirit controls your mind so you see yourself now becoming so much attentive and alert to the things of the spirit that you 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 are not disturbed or you cannot uh, be hindered or controlled by 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 carnal things. Am I communicating to someone? So you have to come to a place where you really invest over your over your spiritual. So the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. The, your relationship with the Holy Spirit has got to be built delicately because that is what will connect you to the realm of the Spirit. Uh, the example that I gave, you will see that there are people who have good handsets and it has a software. But because there is no, uh, there is no, what do you call it, there is no SIM card. Because the SIM card, there is no SIM card, it means they can't be connected to a what? To a network which is the network all right so the sim card has got to be put in the handset it's an effort for the sim card to be put in the handset so that there can be that um 
that kind of an uh, aspect. And the reason we we put the SIM card is for us to communicate with the heavens. All right? For us to communicate with the heavens. So the moment you received Christ, the moment you received Christ, which, which I translate as the SIM card, what happened? The Holy Spirit now connected to you, which is the who is the one who is connected to the Spirit. But there has to be constant communication. So you have to understand the aspect, the Holy Spirit and Christ. That is why you need to make sure that you study more of, of the word. If my word abides in you, and I, uh, if my word abides in you, and you abide in my word, I and my Father will come and reside in you, and we shall become one. Meaning that when you are now one with God, it means that you can no, you can no longer be differentiated from a spirit because you are now one with God. You are now operating from a dimension of the spiritual because you are no longer just a common being. You are now one with God. One with God, meaning you are now a spirit being if you are now a spirit being you operate like a spirit it means you can never come to a place where you can miss the impulses communications and what god says so holy men did not speak out of their own will or accord or out of their own soul there are some that are doing that these days the bible says prophecy from the old man in second peter did not come out of their own what will but they speak as they were pushed or given by the Spirit. That is what made it to be prophecy. Because it came from the Spirit. It came from the Spirit. All right. So, because it came from the Spirit. So, we will be getting to a land where we'll be talking now. We'll be getting to be talking about uh, visions before we get into dreams. Because uh, before we get into dreams, but we'll touch more on the, the, our next lesson will be touching on visions, um, uh, dreams, and other things as we'll be getting into dreams and understanding dreams and all. So, 